do that is every third Monday, there's an open organizers meeting, just turn up. Um, if you want to try, for example, saying like, oh, I want to try coming like 10 minutes early to like help move chairs around, and like, try setting up the space, that's really helpful too. Uh, we've been running a little bit short on volunteers lately, so for the people that have been kind of sticking around, it's been like ready up to us. We'd love for more people to join us and like, set up the space and keep thinking things like this happen. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna really quickly pull up the, uh, do we know if there's a short code for the volunteer stuff? For the volunteer stuff? Uh, what roles? Uh, roles, yeah, yeah. That's the short code. Oh, roles? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, perfect. Uh, so this is the role spreadsheet. Um, if you are interested in maybe picking up a role and giving this a try, uh, we will walk through the role with you. We will go through the role, speak the sheet with you, make you super comfortable. If you are not sure, like day before you're freaking out, like call us at 2 a.m. actually go through that. But um, we are really willing to work with you. Uh, yeah, help us out. Um, and we want to make this thing happen. So I just wanted to get that book real quick. If you are looking to take up, pick up a role, uh, come find me afterwards. And that, uh, you did talk about the actual the day of the organizing meeting, right? Yes. Uh, right. Yes, so that was the um, coming up. It's on Meetup, if you go click in there, it's called CTTO Organizing, and it's July 15th, it sounds like, which is a great day to come to a meeting. <laughs> I'm sure the weather will be terrible. Um, <laughs> oh, we also have like a little bit of food there. Oh, All right, um, are there any other announcements? I have one. If there's, oh. I'll go first because I get to decide. Um, so after tonight, um, every uh, week we kind of try to do like a, a post half night hangout. So I think we're going to be heading down to Betty's tonight if anyone's interested. Um, Betty's is a place on King that has beverages of both alcoholic and non alcoholic varieties. So if you're interested in things for that and hanging out with some of the people here, uh, feel free to join us. We'll move out the door at around 9 p.m. Hey, you guys, there's something I forgot to mention before. So this is if your first time in the space. I just wanted to let you know where our breakout rooms are going to be for the next part of the evening. I feel like you think that they're going to be behind you, to your left, that hallway. There's small rooms on the right and left hand side of that hallway, and then the washrooms are far, far end. Thanks. These little excellent pink pieces of shoes said much earlier. Now you can go pee if you want. <laughs> um, I didn't post up so I just decided I should announce this now. But um, if you're interested in learning more about civic tech, if you are in government and interested in building civic capacity, or if you work in tech and you want to learn about building civic capacity, um, Code for Canada is hosting uh, their annual showcase coming up the end of July. And this year, they're taking it on the road to two towns, one Ottawa on July 24th, and the second one is in Edmonton on July 29th. Um, you can find it on Eventbrite. You can also check it out on their website, uh, code4.ca. Um, for um, yeah, slash showcase. showcase. But it's on there. There it is. Look, it's got something. Ta da! So I didn't get to do anything else. Stop selling it. Please don't tell anyone. Just go to the website. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting that Clifford Canada didn't do everything in Toronto. That seems wrong. So that's it uh, for announcements as far as I can see. Going once, going twice. So now we'll move on to the next section, which is pitches. So, um, same document, link.cbtech.ca slash hack night, uh, second half of that document. If anyone has a project that they want to work on tonight or a discussion group they want to pitch, or just like something they want to come up and be like, come see me if you're interested in alpacas. Alpacas, <laughs> there we go. Technological alpacas. Um, this is the time to come up and sort of pitch that. Uh, for people that have put it up here, we will try to navigate to your uh, blurb up here. If we don't do that, apologies in advance. And yeah, so first project slash two questions slash group. Want to come up to pitch? But that was, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, someone else. Oh, 
So this is a project that is intended to empower homeless youth, um, a safe cycle of poverty through um, providing a path to meaningful high income careers in tech. There's a particular reason we did that. I'm happy to onboard you if you're new and are interested in that uh, in this type of work. Um, if you're already a part of the project, Shubi will be leading an exercise um, on um, kind of developing a research plan um, and doing some UX research over the next couple of weeks. So uh, we'll be in one of the breakout rooms. Thanks. Bye, Steve. This is a long-standing project permitting the crowdsourcing of information about missing bike parking in the city of Toronto and now in the city of Edmonton. We're looking for people who are interested in learning about or already know about class. That is a framework for Python, Python the language, um, and uh, view the uh, framework for JavaScript. Essentially, this is a web app, and we're working on version two of it. People, we're also user experience designers and uh, user interaction designers are also welcome. See uh, Sanal, who's right at the back, or myself, and uh, we'll get you set up. All right, jumping in to pitch my project. Um, it's still, oh, it is up there. All right, uh, so it's called Civic Data Trusts. Um, so this project is kind of looking at the concept of Civic Data Trusts. It's an idea that was pitched by Sidewalk Labs back in October of 2018 as a place to put data that's created by citizens within an area um, where it'll be managed by some sort of central body that is not necessarily a corporation and not necessarily the government. Very vague, very confusing. Many people have tried to define it, um, but many of those groups that have tried to define it have not really taken into the perspective of what the citizens that are putting their data into this would want or need for the system. So our project is kind of um, trying to create a space or a framework where we can collect the ideas of people, specifically from Toronto, on what they would want to happen with their data or if they want anything to happen with their data. So kind of looking at the idea of if this civic data trust thing were to happen, what would you want from it? Um, so we'll also hopefully be getting one of the project breakout rooms back there. I know there's only like four, so we'll see who gets there first. Um, and yeah, I've seen a few people from our group this week, so it should be a very good time. Uh, we're just ramping up right now, so we're working on a mission and vision for the project, as well as trying to get those first few um, very very early stages of the user research started. All right. That's an example. What? I'm getting a question. This yeah. isn't how this works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyone else with a pitch? <laughs> a question, please. Yeah, I guess I often do pitches, but I'm not this week, but I guess I just want to put that the idea that if you're if you're a good conversation actor and it feels like, oh, this is something that like I'd like more people to join, or maybe I'll come back next week to talk about this. Like it doesn't have if you think about it and this emerges as you're like just talking with people after, then feel free to like make yourself look a little more official and maybe like sit down at a table and like people tend to just walk up when it looks like they're official and join things. So uh, that's how that happens. But anyhow, just saying it doesn't have to be pictures are sometimes scary. So it's just uh, I don't know, just whatever you can do to make others know that you're welcoming and that they show up in your conversation. Did you have a pitch? Uh, no, I'm not going to say All right, anyone else? You can raise your hand if you don't want to stand up. We've got one on all the way back here. 
Oh, we've got an announcement. Back up a little bit. So, uh, the Toronto Society of Architects is holding a free event on Thursday, November 26th. Uh, it's about uh, affordability and housing. Uh, so, details are on Facebook, and if you don't have Facebook, it's uh, the YMCA Center um, Washington, and uh, it starts at, starts at 6.30, and you can get the tickets on. What day was it? Oh, Thursday. Okay. This Thursday. All right. Um, which is two days away. Anyone else? Yeah. This is I uh, have a pitch. It's like a cast with my fishing reel. Um, I I am here, so I if anybody wants to talk to me about something I don't have a lot of knowledge about. All right, no information so far about what's going on. But if you want to learn more about this project that I will share with you before we're going next, I will be sending someone looking for me. <laughs> All right, and do we have any more pitches for tonight? Um, there are a few new people here. Heard earlier. If you are new and um, aren't necessarily gravitating to one of these projects right away, or you just want to learn a little bit more about Civic Tech or Civic Tech Con specifically, come find me. I'm leading a section called Civic Tech 101. Um, we'll be right here up in the front, and uh, if you've got questions, let that answers. All right, and final call. Three, I don't have answers yet. I just shut down your questions apparently. Um, three, two, one, and break. All right, thank you everyone for coming. Uh, we're finished at 8 50 tonight, so start packing up um, so that we can be out the door by 9. And if you want, then we can head over to settings or post Pack Night Hangouts. Thank you all for coming and enjoy your night. Wi Fi will be on the screen for the next like five minutes, so grab it quick. I think there's lots more pizza in here. There's a pizza.
But they, they're like, oh, they were just like, they were like, no, 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 they so, yeah, I was just thinking that this was the menu. I don't know what that was. But thank you for that. So, um. Well, that's what I was thinking. Luckily, it was like my word when I was here. It was like it was not a big deal. Like, what? What are we doing now? And I just said, I'm pretty hard up. Oh, no. Like, I just never know what to do. Like, my back. I'm like, let me talk to you. So you've saved you saved us money by doing a lower tip than I would have, so <laughs> they were early as well. I was in there. I was hoping they would be late. <laughs> uh, for the pizza <laughs> Was six for 6.30 and 6.15. Yeah. Also, if you were here, it would have been like a Okay. Um,